everyone. Hey everybody, not ready here, and today I have a uh, have a puppeteer video for you. Um, I've been playing a lot of puppeteer on my stream lately. Uh, if you guys didn't know, I do stream on Twitch. Uh, not I stream at like one to one off to one to four times a week. Um, and usually I play kind of a mixture of both survivor and demon. Sometimes I play more survivor, sometimes more demon. See though, really. And uh, when I play demon, I usually pick puppeteer. Um, I know a lot of people say Puppeteer is probably the weakest demon in the game, and which I would agree, he is the probably weakest demon in the game, but he's super fun. He is a fun demon, he's just really fun, that's all I gotta say. And um, I'm gonna show you the build that I've been running lately, and we've been doing pretty good with this build. Uh, we've been in the positive for wins, we have lost a couple, but that's because of the fact that, you know, when people see Puppeteer, they don't play against him, and it makes it to have a puppeteer do really anything, so. But, um, when we played, these games are from stream, like I said before. Um, we here actually were in the positive. We got about three to four wins of puppeteer. I think four or five, and we got two losses, so we were in the positive, so it's, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. And, um, yeah, enough talking. Let's, uh, let's check out the build real quick. Uh, this is the build. Um, pretty much it's focused more on, um, possessing basic units, which I know a lot of people don't really do, because the basic units are kind of just, like, run and explode, you know, so it's not really, not really good to possess basic units. But, with this build, it actually makes it kind of more worth it. So, from left to right, uh, first one, Shock and Awe, I got the plus three, because I, I do want the elites to be a little bit tough in this build, I don't want to be just basic, so I want elites to be also kind of have a little bit of power. So we have that at plus three, or at three, so it is 50% increase damage radius, so that's pretty good. Then we got Tenacious Demonic Dash. Lowers uh, cooldown of our Demonic Dash. I would say this is probably the best perk you take a Puppeteer. It lowers down to 90 seconds. Really good. I would suggest giving this a max set. Immediately be able to play Puppeteer. The next perk we can take is High Voltage. Increase the amount of damage inflicted by Thunderstruck ability, so it increases the damage even more for Thunderstruck, which is really good. Uh, scarier Demon Dash. We get more Fear and put it into survivors, which is good. Make sure to run over the R, possession hero, and all that. Then we got one in Gate to Hell Elites. This is kind of a waste perk. Uh, one in Rock City Elites, which, yeah, again, I'm just wasting a point to get to the next one, which is Prison Rules. So, Elegos melee hits inflict bleed damage for a limited time. This effect can stack. So, with this, it's, I know it says Elegos, but it actually is everybody. So, it's the basic units, the elite units, and Elegos can apply this, which is probably a it's probably his best perk, to be honest, because if you get a lot of hits off as, like, oh, basics, which they can hit a lot, they can just combo, uh, you'll be doing a lot of damage that way. So I'd say Prison Rule is probably the best perk you take in this build. Um, next perk, Power Surge, one point less, kind of a waste perk, because we need to continue on this tree. Uh, we put two in Demonic Demolition. Uh, it's not really, like, I don't really plan to blow up a lot. This is mostly for, like, the AI-controlled ones, so when they blow up, they can cause more damage. And if people are nearby, you know, they get hit by it. So it's, like, 10% more damage. It's a little bit more damage, pretty good. And then we got three in Gates of Hell Basic, which reduces the cooldown period between the place and the portal basics, so we get some more basic units. Kind of get the whole area flow with basics. Uh, Rock City Basics, so their balance bar is a little bit higher. It's 50%. Uh, Relentless Evil. Uh, reduce the cooldown of my active skills, so I can buy power possession... A little bit quicker. It helps out a lot in like a lot of fights, I would say, so it's pretty nice to have. Next we have Puppet Master Basic. So when we possess a basic unit, it increases the maximum health and damage dealt by possess when we possess it by 8%. I think this stacks with power possess. I don't know, I think it does. Cause I feel really tanky when I just power possess something and I just, just feel like a tank, pretty much. Next one would be Kendarian Fury. The longer we spend possessing a unit, the more damage they can inflict. This is for when we possess basics, kind of go after people, kind of hit them. This is also a really good perk to have if you're planning to possess basics a lot, pretty much. And then over here, we got two in Fear Factor. Um, kind of for just fighting survivors a little bit easier. Uh, one head start. Uh, we do get a little bit more energy in the beginning, which is this is kind of just a waste perk, to be honest. It's kind of a waste point. And then we got two in Test of Time, another really good perk we want to puppeteer, which increases the objective time while we're inside the aura by 35%. So 
gives us a lot of time to mess around the, the event area, or objective area, and kind of just do as much as we can. Uh, we got three in easy access, which usually meant a four line to require to possess any evil unit, so we, we can possess more and more without having to worry about the cost. Uh, next row, Wicked Fast, increased spawn rates of this, which is kind of a waste perk point. I just kind of put it here because I wanted to get down the line. And for our revenue, yet again, kind of another point I had to put in, the, in this row to continue on down to where I want to get. Lurk in the shadows, yet again, another kind of waste perk. And then possession extension. This is reduced the amount of furniture required to maintain possession of evil units by 50%. This is also a really good one to have because we can stay in basic units for a little bit longer and we can steal out a bunch of damage when we can. So, um, yeah, this is a build I've been running for a while. Been pretty good, positive, pretty positive. And, um, yeah, without further ado, let's, uh, get to the gameplay. Like I said, these are from stream, so... Hope you guys enjoy. I keep making noise. He is a hunter, though. But there's two... There's two hunters, a healer, and then Arthur. Okay. I do want to play some traps, though. This is an egg. Unless he goes for the other one. I, if he triggers that, I'm gonna possess him back to him. Yeah. He does have a shovel, though! A flock of window. Rush him a little bit. Pass, we're gone. I still can get that. Can I trap this before he gets it? Yeah, I can. And he's down. Nice. Um, trap spotty. That is pretty good for us. You're not gonna leave me here. Are you? Ass. Don't leave me. I'm still alive. Ah. You've got to be more careful. <laughs> I love you. Okay, we got a death. Nice. That is pretty good for us. Do that. So it's been carried. They might get the res. What Helion lurks in the darkness. Come dash back here in a little bit. I'm gonna dash at this guy. We gotta end back. Oh, what? What pushed me? What? I feel like I should have landed that, but something pushed me. All right. Humans have another piece of the map. You had one job. Oh, that early death's really nice. That's gonna help us out a lot. Trap that. Trap that. She might trigger it. I don't know yet. They are looting here, though. I release thee. Trap that. 
anything can kill them, this should do it. I'm actually gonna explode. Damage on him. I can't do anything about that. Oh, I need more energy. Got in separate cars. We're doing pretty good. We're level 11 right now. Got a boss right away. Although, I am going to follow Ed. He's pretty low on health. So yeah, we're doing pretty good. And thankfully, that Evil Dead 2 actually did not notice what I was doing to Ed. So, thankfully. Let's go to this task. See. Come in. Get him. Don't want to be on the boss. The humans have completed the map. Nah. Locate yeah. their souls. We'll trap them. Swallow at will. Oh, I was gonna possess somebody. Yeah, never mind. Go the trap. Cover me while I reload. He's down. Where am I? If I can do this, you can do this. Now oh, I'm upstairs. How did I get upstairs? That was weird. I wasn't scared before. Now I'm even less. Have that tree. I need to pay attention to what they're gonna do though. Still my traps. If he goes in, I'll probably possess him. Gonna explode. That is fine for us. Oh, run. Oh, where's Arthur? He's right over there. He's in a car still. I need more. Actually, I might. Scare up. Maybe I can hit one of them? Or two? That one, I can't do anything about that. I can't possess or anything. But that's fine. That's fine. Distract him a little bit more. Energy. But once I start something, I gotta like go right to it though. I kind of want to bring out the boss, but I think they're just gonna run. If I do. Come by the tree. There we go. That's a bit better. Ooh, a little bit more damn pain. Come on. I just want to force her to use up a lot of resources. Yeah, there we go. So there's Shams. Get Cheryl.
Uh oh. Save. Leave. There we go. Got a little bit more of that. She used her active. Nice. Put up energy. Do anything here. Oh, what are they two doing? Oh, they're just, just putting around. They're just messing around, it's fine. As long as Ed's fear stays up high, I should be able to find him. Oh, I think now they're in a car. Part of me wanted to pop the boss on him, but at the same time, I'm like, I just think they're just gonna run away if I do. I actually might. I mean, we do have a level 3 boss. There's a car right there, though. Deadly's gonna get bloody. Wait. That's such a call I want to do there. I think I'm gonna be sick. Right now, I'm just trying to make sure it has no healing by the time you see the objective. That's kind of the goal right now. No, you don't. Take it out. They haven't got you yet. Sorry, Shams. Actually, that's kind of good for us. Shoot it active. Do I pop? No, I'm not gonna pop. At least it's refreshing. Damn. She has a lot of champs. I'm gonna pop now. Nice. How do you reload this thing? Got them both. I'm just gonna run. Is that a current ally or is it not? Actually, I'm gonna do this. No, you don't. She's down. This guy down. He's down too. We got Ash over here. Damn. Chimps, man. Nothing comes close. Oh, he's back. Probably get Ash down. Get Ash down, okay. Their minds would crumble. Oh, I got out of my body, damn. Destroy the world. Stay with me. I can't be here alone. Oh. <laughs> I 
That must have been a nightmare. Damn. It felt real. Uh, We're not gonna stop that though, sadly. Now get up. Uh, traps. We used up a lot of the resources just really good. That is super good for us. Now we gotta bring him back. And if they're gonna stay with Elda 2 Ash, I gotta possess him. I gotta make sure he's fair up all the time. Which actually. Oh. Oh, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Awesome. Cover me while I reload. Uh, All right, now. That was horrible. I was trying to do something there, but I got stuck. Got Cheryl Lil though. She's really good. Alright. We do our fear backup. So I'm gonna try to. Cheryl is terrified. I think Cheryl's gonna get the body back. Yeah. Can we make it there in time if she gets hit? But she is by herself. Let's get her out of that. Soon all of you will be like me. Scare her. Or two trees a trap. Kill them all. Let's get shield up. Shield up again. Yeah, gotta use up resources, which is nice. I will watch you squirm in pain. Another shield. Now I could kill Cheryl right now. Come and get me. <laughs> We're over here. And now she's down. No, you don't. Well, actually. Wait, it's me. Oh, come on. Come on. Fuck, dude. I almost got it there. It just wouldn't let me reload. Come to them. You know what? I'm no doctor, but I'm pretty sure one of our teams. And we won. Thanks. Nice.